Report your ailments. You are fit for duty. Return to your post. Major, is that you? Uh, we never had a chance. Uh, Ondoro, he... lightning, straight out of his fingertips. Impossible. I can't... I can't move. You have to capture him. You can't let Ondoro escape. Only he can prove that Daggerwing is innocent. Ondoro won't get away from me, Commander. Thank you. Please, hurry. What was that? It doesn't matter. Go! Forget about me. Just get Ondoru! 
The Sith can wait. Dagger Wing needs you. This may be the only shot we ever get at that Sith scum. Harlan can take over Dagger Wing, and Andoru can clear their record. I'll gladly die to make that happen. Now go! Havoc Squad doesn't leave anyone behind. No! Get out of here! Go! You stubborn. I guess I should thank you. But now my men's reputation may never be cleared. You're a good officer, Gaul. I couldn't leave you like that. I appreciate the sentiment. But now my men's reputation may never be saved. Major, Gaul, you made it. They're here, men. Get those guns up and those eyes shut. Zess, what are you doing here? We came to help, but it looks like we missed the show. Get your men out of here ASAP, Zess. Was just thinking the same thing. Need a hand there, Gull? Oh. Thanks. I took a shot at a Sith. I'll stick to Starfighters from now on. <laughs> we'll get Gull back and have him transferred to the space station with the rest of Daggerwing, Major. Been a pleasure seeing you work. Thanks for the help, Zess. Just doing my job. See you soon, Major. Report your ailments. Stand by for examination and suggested products. Your 
fit for duty. Return to your post. You are fit for duty. Return to your post. You did it and then some. With their leaders dead and their supplies destroyed, the Eshgar are in a bad way. They're pulling back now. Should give us time to catch our breath. Thanks. They're vulnerable. Now's the time to keep the pressure on them. I'm sending a few squads out to retake some of our more defensible outposts. Not much, but it's a start. You've probably guessed the Republic didn't build this place. It was constructed thousands of years ago by a species called the Rakata. The Rakata hated the Ashgar, wrote about them like they were a plague, waged a war that engulfed the entire galaxy. In the end, the Ashgar were nearly wiped out, the few hundred thousand survivors brought here to be locked away in stasis. If only the Imperials had known how dangerous the Ashgar were. Idiots were so giddy about making life difficult for us, they didn't notice all the do not open signs. The Eshgar conquered half the galaxy in their heyday. And they'll pick up right where they left off if they ever escape. Your raid caught them off guard. They're crippled, shaken. Now is the time to press our advantage and halt their advance for good. The less time we give them to recover, the better. We've traced the bulk of the Eshgar's calm activity back to a small cavern. We think they're using it as a command station. Whoever's in there is coordinating the Eshka's entire offensive. It's our best shot at taking out their leadership. I want you to take it. I haven't let you down yet. Hadn't planned on starting. There's a lot of extra comm chatter coming out of that station. Not sure what all the commotion is about, but we can't wait to find out. Find the station, take out the leadership. Then, maybe we can go back to pushing the Imperials off this rock.
mafork na horat jest bi elmu inti sor ma hefne. Tasted the dark side, have they? How enlightening! Killing me will bring them further down the path. Zin jest jur drukal jasbru, li hida naka miest hija. Bien folk dan mitof, ma kopiet ni horma gurm genak. Weapons down. On the floor. Now. Zin jest jur drukal jasbru, li hida naka miest hija. Don't waste words on these vermin! Kill them and be done with it! Jik inter, me beg dressed pasiat dan ilbi for cost in pain. He may be a Sith, but I won't just sit by and let you butcher him. Zekian actest vertin huli tikmen kitieb. Ane, yo hiafne takta. Yodiam, tiest ziti kur mini kiest madwa. Jik inter, me beg dressed pastiat dan ilbi for cost in pain. Very eloquent, very scary. Now die. You've considerable skill, but Eshka are hardly the deadliest things in these catacombs. You should run along before you hurt yourself. I came here for the Eshka, but if you're looking for a fight, much as I would enjoy the release, I have bigger concerns. The galaxy is cluttered enough without another faction vying for power. Otherwise, they might very well destroy your Republic. Every time I see you return from a mission, I thank the Maker I wasn't designed for combat. I'd call that a beachhead, but you'd better leave plenty of muscle behind. Your ship is going to be target number one for those droids. My squad will hold this position. What's next? Next up is the command center. That's where you'll need to go to open all of the cells. Once our boys are loose, they can ride out in one of the old supply transports. It'll be a tight fit, but I doubt anyone will complain. Let's make it happen. Good luck, Major.
Don't shoot! Don't shoot! I surrender! Y you're Republic, right? This is a jailbreak! Please, I I'll do whatever you want! J just, just don't hurt me! Cooperate and I'll get you out of here too. Oh, thank you! Thank you so much! You want me to unlock the prisoner cells? I, I can do it! I it'll only take a moment. Oh! G General Rockton! Impressive. Your time from learning about A-77 to storming its command deck was shorter than even my most aggressive estimates. Estimates. You knew we were coming? Of course. My strategies leave no room for an error of this size. Your soldiers' escape was no accident. Imperial warships have maneuvered into position around A-77. The facility will be obliterated in a matter of minutes. Goodbye. The shields are already failing. I have to reroute power. You want to give me an update here, Major? It feels like someone's shooting at us. Imperial ships are firing on us. We're working on a way out. They're going to blow up their own prison? This is insane. Oh, I can do it. I can keep the shields up. We can all make it out if I just bend the systems level. You can't bend the systems level. I'm on the systems level. There are droids everywhere. I'd never make it out. Who is this moron? We'll find a way to get everyone out. Don't worry. There is no other way. Please forgive me, but we have no other alternative. Without shields, we could never get the cells open fast enough. All of the prisoners would die. You've got to get me out of here, Major. I can't die in this place. I can't. This is never easy. But 300 against one isn't a choice. There's always a choice. Please, don't do this. I have to do what's best for the most people. Vent the service level. Get the shields back up and the prison cells open ASAP. Yes! Yes, of course! But, no. It can't end like this. It can't end... It... worked. Shields are back to 90%, but... they will not last forever. You should return to your ship. I I'll ensure the prisoners are freed and find their way to the transport. You've done a good job here. I should be thanking you. I never thought I'd leave this place alive. Please, go, now. We don't have much time.
Uh, attention prisoners, Republic soldiers have come to rescue you. All cells are being unlocked and opened now. Please hurry to the aft hangar bay. A supply transport is available to carry you away from this place. At last! Open at him. Havoc! Hey there. We just wanted to thank you for springing us. No time for introductions before. I'm Major Fell, 82nd Armored. I always wanted to meet the head of Havoc. This is a real honor. I'm glad I could get you and your people out of there. I can hardly believe it's over. Everything happened so fast. I guess you found us on account of Jack, so... Is she over there? I'd like to thank her too, if I could. Unfortunately, Jack so was killed during the escape. Oh. I'm sorry. I, I didn't realize. She ought to get a medal. We'd never have gotten out if she hadn't slipped away to call for help. I'll be sure to suggest it to my CO. Thank you. It seems like the least we could do to try and repay her. I won't hold you up any longer. Thanks again, Major. From all of us. Fell out. Havoc Squad calling General Garza, A-77 was a trap. We rescued most of the prisoners, but Sergeant Jaxo was killed in action. Hmm. I'm sorry to hear about Jaxo. But it sounds like you were very fortunate to save as many as you did. What happened exactly? General Rackton had warships waiting to destroy A-77 and kill us all. Incredible. You did very well to escape a situation like that, Major. Tell me more about Sergeant Jaxo. Was she killed during the operation, or had she been recaptured before you arrived? The only way to save the rest of the POWs was to let Jaxo die. I see. That must have been very hard on you, but you made the right choice. General Rapton is going to great lengths to remove havoc from the war. We're clearly on the right track. Let's keep the pressure on. Your next assignment is on a planet called Voss. I'm sending the coordinates now. Contact me as soon as you arrive. Garza out. Alert. System efficiency has returned to 100%, Master, and I have reactivated several combat subsystems that were previously disabled. My deletion techniques are as efficient as the day I left the factory floor. Declaration. Troublemakers beware. The Maker's greatest assassin is coming for you all. High Command gets a little nervous when troops toss around the A-word. Let's call you an anti-personnel specialist. Assessment. Military jargon is frightfully inefficient, but the title fits. Resolution. You will soon see my full combat capabilities. Prepare to be awed, Master.
Major, now that you've reached our Voss outpost, let's begin your briefing. Voss was first discovered by the Empire. As always, the Imperials' first thought was invasion, but the Voss people repelled them with ease. Apparently, their mystics can predict the future with complete precision. Word spread quickly, and gaining the Voss's allies has become a top Republic priority. Anyone who can see the future is a good friend to have. True, but we can't afford to lose sight of the overall war effort. Our problem is with the strategy employed by the Republic's influential diplomat, Senator Evren. Evren is certain that the Empire will invade again, and he's withholding thousands of frontline troops to leap to Voss's defense. This cannot continue. How can Havoc Squad free up those troops, General? You can make their presence unnecessary. Unfortunately, Evren is a close friend of the Supreme Chancellor and has his complete confidence. Even I can't overrule him now. Our only alternative is for your team to demonstrably destroy any and all invasion vectors the Empire has left. Once Voss is safe, we can get our troops back. Just tell me where to begin, General. You'll begin by reporting to Senator Evren in his office in the alien enclave of Voskar, the planet's mountain capital. Evren has agreed to talk, but he still holds all the cards, Major. Conduct yourself accordingly. I won't give the Senator any reason to complain. Good. We have enough run-ins with the Senate as it is. Also, remember that Voss is neutral territory. Imperial personnel are just as welcome as we are, so make absolutely sure that your operations remain covert. Report back to me when the situation is dealt with. Garza out. Hold up a minute. Commander Harada, station security. Glad I caught you before the shuttle. I have an urgent message from Ambassador Janik, our envoy on Voss. I'll patch him through now. It's an honor, Major. I know the stories behind most of your operations. I hope you're brave enough for a little diplomacy. Negotiations with the Voss have stalled, and I'm looking for high-profile help. Are you familiar with the planet? I'm interested in an ambassador's take. Ambassador, soldier, Jedi, civilian. We're all outsiders to the Voss. They have little knowledge of the greater galaxy and only recently obtained spaceflight from us, but they're not primitive. Their society revolves around the mystics, force users who have visions of the future. Those visions guide every decision the Voss make, and the Voss believe they're never wrong. We could win this war a lot sooner if we knew how they pulled it off. Imagine how the sacking of Coruscant would have turned out if we'd seen it coming. A Republic alliance with the Voss could be key to winning this war. Unfortunately, the Empire has the same idea. So far, the Voss have refused to take sides, and they've established rigid neutrality laws to keep us in line. If the Empire attacks, we have to defend ourselves. We let the Empire provoke us, and we lose our chances with the Voss. We need to show the Voss that the Empire only acts respectful because of the mystics. I'm doing everything I can to expose them, but the Voss don't seem to hear me anymore. A fresh face might help. Recruiting's not my specialty, but I can talk up the Republic. Another voice would be a great help. I'm staying in a Voss survey outpost, keeping an eye on the Empire. Commander Harada can handle the details of getting here.
Not much to arrange. Shuttle will take you to Voska, their capital city. Local transport can get you to the survey outpost. Remember, the Voss keep all outsiders confined to the alien enclave, regardless of affiliation. Someone makes trouble, ignore them. On your feet. Major, Captain Marshall, sir, 81st Infantry. It's a real pleasure to meet you. You must be Senator Everin's reserves. You mean the Vacation Brigade. That's what everyone's calling us, right? Keep it down, Private. Sorry, Major, we heard a rumor you might be here to get us back into the field. Is that true? Operational details are top secret, Captain. Sorry. Come on, Major. We're bouncing off the walls here. Give us something. That is enough, Private. I want a weapons check, armor clean, and gear snow in five. Move it! And Major, if that is why you're here, then good luck. We're all dying to get back out there and crack some hip skulls. So long. Major, please, come in. Make yourself comfortable. I was just having dinner brought in. Would you care to join me? I understand it's being paired with an excellent Chandlin wine. Much obliged, Senator, but I'm afraid the mission has to come first. Of course. You have a duty to carry out. I can certainly respect that. While I appreciate that General Garza sent her best, I have reservations with her plan. A military action here is very risky. The Voss have strictly forbidden violence between Republic and Imperial visitors. I maintain it would be better to wait for the Empire to make the first move. If we wait for the Imperials to attack, we have to fight on their terms. Is the ambush no longer an accepted military maneuver? It seems like a perfectly valid strategy to me, and the Supreme Chancellor agrees. If you believe you can completely destroy the Empire's ability to invade this planet without being discovered by Voss authorities, so be it. You'll work under my direct supervision, and I'll observe your activities through your armor cam. Cross any lines, 
and the mission ends. Is that clear? This op will go by the numbers, Senator. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, take a look at these reports from the SIS. An Imperial agent called Deadfall has landed on Voss. Deadfall's specialty is subterfuge. He sows confusion and chaos on a planet just before the Empire sends its invasion forces. His presence proves their intentions. Do you know where he is now? The SIS believes Deadfall is hiding in a cave system at the foot of Vaska. The coordinates are in the reports. I believe the best course of action is for you to search the caves for data, hopefully capturing Deadfall himself in the process. Agreed? I'll make it happen, Senator. Then we're already off to a good start. And remember, I'm watching. Open Adam. Vehicle pads are currently open for business.
These accusations are ridiculous. The Republic has only tried to protect the galaxy from the Empire. The Empire offers more power and protection than the Republic ever could, minus the rigid codes of morality. The Empire forgets. The Voss protect themselves. Let us pause here. I believe the Ambassador has some introductions to make. Lord Beldis, speaking on behalf of the Empire. Laren Kai, Envoy to the Three. I'm not familiar with the chain of command around here. The Three govern. The mystics see. The Three decide. The Three state outsiders are only curiosity. I'd like to show the Voss something different. An example of everything the Republic stands for. Soldiers have blind loyalty to their cause. Your mindless Republic grunts are no different. The Empire started this war. I fight because I have to. Off-world conflicts mean nothing. The Voss look forward. Outsiders look back. I will say no more. An excellent example, Ambassador. Weak and hopeless. Like you. The more Lord Beldis talks, the worse the Republic looks. We have to show the Voss what Sith like him are really after. Diplomacy isn't usually the Sith's style. The Empire already tried to conquer Voss. The Voss annihilated them like they'd been prepared for years. Diplomacy's their only option. We know Lord Beldis has spies in Voss Ka. Our scouts think he's using some defunct Voss comm towers to communicate with them. The comm logs could prove Lord Beldis has designs against the Voss. I need someone to make it past the Empire's defenses. Isn't a firefight worse than spying on someone? If it doesn't disturb the peace or threaten the Voss, they don't concern themselves with it. Get those comm logs quick as you can. I'll be waiting.
spin this all you like, Ambassador. You tampered with Voss communication towers. Is that a fact, Lord Baldus? I suppose I forged the Imperial comm logs that came out of them, too. Stop. Neither were present. Both are blind. Those involved will answer. Did you strike against Voss? My objective was to retrieve the comm logs. The Empire resisted. None survived to object. The towers were abandoned. No Voss were harmed. This will not happen again. I can personally guarantee that, Laren Kai. You against the Empire, and me against Lord Beldis. I'm not sure which fight was harder. How can Laren Kai ignore the Empire's crimes? He's been fed lies and false promises by every outsider he's met. I don't blame him for wanting undeniable proof. The comm logs don't implicate Lord Beldis directly, but they prove he has Imperial spies in Voska. One of them is Malcolm Terax. Terax is one of Imperial Intelligence's best agents, but now he'll be executed. We can't let that happen. You think an Imperial spy will help us? If we save Terax, he might talk. The SIS spotted a new Dusk Squadron camp nearby. They're Imperial assassins, and their location is perfect for a quiet execution. I'm willing to bet they're here for Terax. If Terax wants to live, I'll make sure he does. If he goads you, ignore him. Lord Beldis would blame his death on us. I'll make the arrangements for a deal with Terax. I just hope he's still alive. Stand by for examination and suggested products. You are fit for duty. Return to your post.